Hello YouTube, I hate you fruits, and today I'm going to show you how to get like a glass looking texture in Cinema 4D. So this is what it would look like. You can do this with any object. So you can see like the uh, rectangles, like the like glass. And I'll show you how to do that in this tutorial. You can do it with text or anything, it's up to you. But firstly you want to open up Cinema 4D. I'll just quickly do my render setting. Done that. You just imp you just want to import what you want. Ah, uh, I might do it on a text object actually. Name HD This is what I just like to do. I might use just might use impact or just show more. And when you've done that, well I've I've already saved it, I'll get it out and maybe copy down a setting. So if I drag this on, you can see what it looks like. It don't look as good because the background's black, so I'll just run run through the material. First, well, it don't matter about colour at the moment, you want to go to transparency and put brightness to 95 and refraction to 1.2. Then go over to reflection and put brightness about 61 and mix strength about 62 and put the texture on for now. Then you want to go on specular and put width is 37%, height is 74%, fall off is 0% and inner width as 13%. And with the colour, you can do anything really, but light blue, about lightish blue, makes it look more like glass, but it's up to you what colour you want. When you've done that, you drag it to what you want. And then it should like look like glass, but I just add a sky and a HDRI, and HDRI to make it look like glass. So just go to sky. Then... HDRI is like a light which you can download, but there's a pre there's some presets. So what you want to do is go to File, Load Material Preset, and in Engineering Edition, no, 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 Cinema 4D Materials HDRI, and any one any of them like quite nice, but I like number 24. And when you've done that, you drag it onto on on the sky. And as you can see, it's like got all these pictures, but you can hide it with a floor, which I'll do now. You want to go to light, light, floor, and press R on the keyboard or the rotate button. And then you want to hold down shift and rotate it 90, 90 degrees. And holding down shift makes lets you rotate it every 5 degrees, which is easier. When you've done that, you just want to move it to behind the text. You've basically hidden the back, and you can make it bigger if you want to hide it more. But just for tutorial purposes, I don't really need to do it. Then, if you want, you can add a light. And then go to light. Shadow, shadow map soft. You don't need a shadow, but it looks better. Um, if I render that out, it should look more or less like glass. Yep. So render it on the top. Yep. Yeah, that looks like glass. Just a bit of weird reflections because I'm on the top of it. So thank you for watching, I hope this tutorial helped a lot, right, thank you.